Well, hopefully that can be a sign of things to come, guys. The trucks are out the front. We're ready to get into it today. A big day of op shopping ahead. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Another trip to the thrift Thursday morning. I need to buy a heap of stock, guys. So we're going to be hopefully buying a number of items today to sell onto eBay because that is exactly what I do full time if you are new to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a copper drop segment through my Instagram throughout the day as well. I'm going to be bringing you the results of that in this video as well. So it should be a fun little addition to the trip to the thrift today. But uh, smash the like button. Let's dive into the first op shop. We'll see what we can find. Now I talk about it quite a bit. I don't actually like to sell books anymore. I've stopped doing it. But this is just such a book series that I can't go past. It's Del Toro Quest. It's Emily Roder, and it's a complete series. We've got books number one to eight here. Have a look at the comps. I just can't pass up a series like this when I see it in the thrift. I've also found this one as well, Del Toro Quest 2. Uh, so there are three series of Del Toro Quest. We've got uh, one and a half basically there. So I had to go ahead and pick those up. Chill since 1993, Tokyo Shinjuku. What an absolute sweet tea we've found here. This was only a couple of dollars, literally $2. Uh, the, the name there is John Galt, I think it is. I've never heard of it. Made in Italy. A really heavy cotton on this one and it was in great condition. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up. Let me know if that was something of interest for you guys out there. Happy to do it on a mate's rates between you and me. Also found this as well, which was a viewer poll question for my Instagram. Uh, the complete series of Seinfeld. Would you have bought it for $30? Have a think. I'll let you know in just a second. And then I dove into the shoes, guys. Back in my natural habitat, we've found the Nike drop types. These are an amazing pair of shoes. Uh, really cool pair of skateboarding shoes. Only the $4 price tag on them. I'm doing very well with my shoes this week. Uh, these ones comp, well, I saw one for about 60 bucks, so that was enough for me to go ahead and make the commitment. Whenever I'm seeing Nike shoes in good condition under the $10 price point, I'm always buying it. Shoes are just a great selling item. I'm always picking them up. The other one is Footjoy as well. Uh, the Footjoy is a really good brand, golfing brand. So these are a pair of women's golf shoes, uh, blue color, $8 price tag. I should be able to make myself about $45, I would say, on these free postage. They are more of an entry-level shoe, but still, nonetheless, what a good first run. All right, guys, the first op shop run of the day is all done and uh, not too bad. We've got a number of items here to kick it off and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about things so far. Um, I did put a viewer poll question out there for you guys on the Seinfeld box set DVD and 72% uh, of you said don't go ahead with the mat. It is too much. $30 is just too expensive and I've probably got to agree with you there, to be honest. I know that they can sell on eBay for 70 or 80 bucks in a box set. They were in good condition as well, so I might have been able to make myself about 20 bucks profit, but to invest 30 bucks to make 20 bucks, I think I can put my money better elsewhere. So well done to you guys. Thank you very much for that hot tip. Um, we'll move on to the second run of the day and hopefully we can find a few more goodies in there. To start op shop run number two with this mini clothing haul that I've been able to grab. Six dollars on the majestic tag size large. The mustard yellow New York Yankees t-shirt. This should go for about twenty-five dollars free postage. Now you guys know how much I love my sports gear. That's the reason why I had to say yes to this one. It's only going to be about a ten dollar profit. The other one that I've got here for you for six bucks is the South African Football Association soccer jersey. Adidas genuine merchandise. And guess what? I've already gone on to sell it. It sold for sixty dollars internationally to someone in Mexico. So a little great turn around there off a six dollar purchase in the thrift a single day sale also found this one as well the new zealand football soccer jersey this is nike genuine merchandise size large should go for a similar dollar to that south african jersey i'm going to be aiming for about 40 to 45 dollars uh, domestically here in australia new zealand 2011 rugby league world cup found this one as well this one had a four dollar price tag if you can believe four dollars for like a like new jersey in the thrift that is just incredible should go on to sell for about 40 bucks free postage can't wait to get that one up onto my eBay store. So guys, the jerseys have absolutely come through with the goods for me there. Moved on to some more clothing actually and found the Harley Davidson motorcycle singlet. This had a $7 price tag on it as well. I'm always buying the Harley Davidson gear whenever I'm seeing it. Sells very, very fast on eBay and uh, had a really nice back print on it as well. So size large, that one should turn into about 35 bucks pretty fast. And then I found the All Blacks polo uh, shirt as well. This was an extra large Adidas Climber Cool $8 price tag. I generally turn these ones, I've sold quite a few into about $30 to $35, usually on a best offer for about 30 bucks. But when you're picking them up for $8, there's gonna be a bit of profit made every single time. And then I found some shoes. The Instagram viewer poll question for you. Would you have bought these? The Katmandu NXG Drysdales. These literally had not yet been hiked in. A great pair of shoes yet to be worn. So let me know in the comments below. Would you 
have bought this one yourself for $25, I'll let you know what the Instagram viewers thought a little bit later on in the episode. And then I also found these as well, the Zamberlins. These are the hiking boots. Uh, again, just like the Katmandu's, they are a Gore-Tex uh, Zamberlin, which tells me that they are a top of the range hiking boot. And yet, there we are, half of the price point to what the Katmandu's were, just a $12 purchase price. So I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that one. Well, I tell you what, guys, I really do think the op shops didn't understand the brand of shoe that they had with this one here because I ended up, I'll, I'll take you through the Kathmandu's first of all because that was the viewer poll question. There it is right there. 63% uh, of you said to cop this, and I'm really glad that you said that because I was leaning myself towards copying them myself. So for $25, uh, they should turn into about $90 free postage, something like that. I'm very happy to pick them up. I think the sell-through rate on those should be pretty quick as well. So thank you for saying yes to copying those ones. But these were the shoes that were right next to them that they literally had them priced at half of what the Kathmandu's were. The brand is Zamblin. I, I really just don't think they knew how much uh, or how expensive these shoes actually are. Brand new condition, these Zenith 150s are worth about $300 and the condition of them is very good as well. So to pick these up for just $12 and have the Kathmandu's next to them for $25, definitely a brand for you guys to be looking out for, guys. Uh, this was the Gore-Tex as well, which is what I always look for. So I truly do believe that this pair of shoe, the Zamblins, are much better than the, uh, than the Kathmandu's I've paid double for. So um, anyway, Enough of that. Let's keep moving on. Off shop run number three is coming up, and uh, so far it's been a pretty good day. Starting op shop run number three in the video games section. You don't come across the video games all too often, but we've got Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PC right here. I've dove uh, into these five just to have a bit of a look at the comps, but uh, unfortunately for a $5 purchase, there is just no profit to be made in any of these. Sega Superstars Tennis for $15, best comp. I was going to do these as a bundle splinter cell, but even as a bundle, that weren't going to get me too much money back. And then Fable 2 and 3, unfortunately no go there if you're going to be investing ten dollars always a little bit tough to find a profit on the video games a place to call home as well we've found this we've got four seasons worth of the tv shows now i'm paying the two dollars a piece so there's going to be an eight dollar investment here but i really do think i can go for about forty to fifty dollars on this bundle it is a very sought after dvd i've sold it a few times before so when you're in the thrift i think the tv shows are the best ones to stick to for the dvds here's something you don't come across every day in the thrift and that is a pair of rm williams jeans these always get snapped up so quickly so to be able to actually get my hands on these, a 38 regular waste. I'm going to go for about 65 bucks on eBay with this one. Let me know, how much would you price this up for? Remember, it's in pretty much like new condition. Dove across into the jackets and windbreaker area, and I found a ACG or ACQ variation of a Nike windbreaker jacket. This is just an $8 price tag. It's a size large. Look, there were a couple of marks on this one, to be fair, so I am going to have to put this one through the wash. I don't always wash all of my clothes unless they smell really bad but this one probably does need a bit of a clean before I go ahead and take any photos. But nonetheless, an $8 purchase price here. There's definitely going to be some good profit made. Uh, a pair of almost brand new ASIC shoes. One of the greatest things to find in a thrift store is a pair of brand new ASICs. Have a look at these Dynalite 2s. These are a pair of US size 7 color orange. I don't probably need to go any further with that. They're a pair of orange shoes. Uh, a $15 price point though for a pair of brand new shoes is always something I'm going to be saying yes to. And then I found these used, uh, and these are the Power Band golf shoes, a pair of men's golf shoes, US size nine and a half. There is still a lot of wear left in these shoes and for a $15 purchase, I'm gonna be going quite high end on these, somewhere around about a $90 free postage type scenario. The golf shoes do sell pretty well for me. Actually, anything in golf sells well. Well, it's been a pretty successful day so far, guys. We are three op shop runs down. We have one more to go, a number of really great items that will all go on to sell really well on eBay. This last op shop that we jump into typically does pretty well for me. I hope that I'm not shooting myself in the foot by saying that, but I really do think that we're going to end the day on a high here, so stick around. Also, too, just on my last video, I did want to mention in this one, I had a comment from somebody out of Madrid, Spain, literally on the other side of the world, tuning into these videos, me just sitting here on the Gold Coast in my van making these videos on a weekly basis, and that, that really did just flip me out. So let me know in the comments below, where are you tuning in from? What part of the world are you watching these videos? I'd love to hear it. Um, so drop some love into the comments below. Let's dive into it guys. Uh, the fourth op shop run, the last one to end the day. I really want to finish it on a high. So let's get in there. Well, fortunately, guys, it has not let us down the last run of the day. This was an Instagram viewer poll question that we'll kick things off with, though. The Osiris skateboarding shoes, they're in pretty much light new condition, as you can see here. A $10 price tag 
would you have gone ahead and made the purchase on these? I have sold the Osiris brand a number of times before. I do think it's a brand to be on the lookout for, but let me know in the comments, would you have bought that one? Uh, also found the Asics GT2000s. These are a pair of $12 shoes, a pair of women's shoes, um, a little bit of wear on the soles, but not enough for me to say no to the purchase. I'll be going with a pretty stock standard $50 price point on those. We've had a pretty good run today with the shoe category yet again. Also found these ones as well, the New Balance uh, running shoes. These were a $10 purchase. There were a few little scuffs and marks on them, but there were no fabric tears, which is the big thing that I'll look for. The soles were in pretty much decent condition to go ahead with the purchase at 10 bucks, and I'll be going for about a $40 to $45 free postage scenario on those ones. Not too bad of a shoe there to finish the shoe runs for today. Also found these DVDs. Uh, we've got the Helsing um, DVD series. I did just drop one there. I didn't mean to do that. We've got numbers one and two, and uh, they were $2 each. I'm always looking for my anime, but unfortunately the comps weren't too strong on those. This was one that I literally just comped up. Pat Masidi. I've literally just given this a comp and it told me that it was going for about $38 pre-owned uh, with free postage so to pay eight bucks on that i thought that was a cool one to end the day well, i love it when the votes get really close guys we've got a 45 percent 55 percent swing here on these osiris uh, skateboarding shoes a really cool pattern on them i didn't mind the design a us size 13 don't mind selling the larger sizes 45 percent was to cop 55 percent was to drop bit like the footy boots last week i've gone ahead and i have cop these guys guys i've sold the brand osiris a number of times before so i'm pretty confident in this one i should be able to get about 60 bucks free postage for it given the condition I would say is almost 10 out of 10. It's almost like new guys. They're a great pair of shoes. Um, and Osaurus in the skateboarding world is a good brand as well. So let's see how we go with that. Hopefully I can get that right and uh, and sell them for 60 and make myself a good 30 bucks, which is what I like to do, as you know. Appreciate you being here, guys. Uh, it's been a really fun episode today. A lot of awesome items. I'm going to run upstairs, put them all onto eBay. Pretty simple game. Bring it to you in a what sold episode once they go on to sell. Hey, I'll leave you with another video right here to go and check out. This was a really cool trip to the thrift video not too long ago that I think you guys might enjoy. If you got enjoyment out of this one, remember to smash the like button, consider subscribing, and I look forward to catching you in the next vid. Thanks, guys.